Hi everyone, this is Juan and today I would like to introduce you to a nice little hack that I have done with the Chumbi a very amazing device that is um, designed to be uh, very powerful and very extensible actually what I have here is the Insignia Infocast which is a derivative of the Chumbi that you can get ver for very cheap on eBay um, I think it's on sale for anywhere from 25 to uh, 40 dollars right now on eBay so um, I have this device and I found out that um, Bunny li um, has designed this little device to be very hackable and very tensible uh, it has um, USB on board GPIO and I2C and of course Wi-Fi so I think it could be very useful for many of my projects. What I have found out to be in, uh, interesting and disappointing at the same time is that this device uses um, flashlight, not very powerful, and at the same time very clunky for us um, at this age. So um, I have hacked together Q4 on this little device so you can put uh, basically whatever kind of interface you like on this device easily so uh, let's dive right into it recently my friend asked me to uh, make a device that will monitor uh, the temperature inside his fridge and would alert him by text message uh, if the uh, temperature reaches a certain threshold so um, what I have done is I just made a little interface here that display the temperature and it takes literally me just five minutes to uh, make it work from um, from the framework that I have So after a while, Chumbi will start um, booting up with our custom firmware uh, with uh, Q4 and WebKit and um, everything else is easy as pie. So after the Chumbi has boot up for the first time, you'll be asked to calibrate the touch screen. And then, there we go. And then, what you can see here is um, the temperature monitor that I uh, worked on looks just fine. You have several tools too. For example, you have a screen dimmer, a timer, I don't know what is good for but uh, you have a timer here and then uh, you have a diagnostic screen too so you can see the Chumbi IP here what's so cool about this also is that you can actually debug your project on a full-blown browser so you you do have all the luxury of a full-blown browser and uh, debugging is easy as pie so that's it and I really hope that you enjoy my uh, Chumbi Q4 framework with WebKit
and I hope that you find it very useful and uh, hopefully you will have some cool project from it I hope to hear from you soon bye